Howdy all, and welcome to Fish Web's On the Water Review, brought to you by Burt Lake Marina, serving northern Michigan with award-winning service since 1969. Lake Charlevoix is Michigan's third largest lake, at 13 miles long and covering over 26 square miles. The lake has a main body with a maximum depth of 123 feet, and the south arm with a maximum depth of 59 feet. We start our tour at the Boeing River mouth in Boeing City. On the north side of the river is the Grant Moore Municipal Marina. Here you'll find 42 slips, a small boat launch, and a beautiful lakeside park. Four blocks north is Boeing City's Lake Street launch, suitable for larger vessels. Here you have two launch lanes, a long loading dock, plenty of parking, restrooms, and a fish cleaning station. Heading west along the north shore is the Glenwood Beach area. The abundance of weed cover in this area holds walleye, smallmouth, and northern pike in the spring and fall. Where Glenwood Beach Road ends, the Young State Park begins. The first stretch of shore here is fairly wild and a good spot to stop and watch the Boeing Thunderboats go by. The park's campgrounds are located on Horse Point. There are three modern campgrounds, a boat launch, picnic area, six and a half miles of trail, and a nice swim beach on the north side of the point. About three miles north along the shore from Horse Point is Horton Bay. In the spring, warmer water from Horton Creek will draw in walleye and pike. It's also a good place for smallmouth all season. The Horton Bay General Store was also one of Ernest Hemingway's favorite hangouts. About seven miles west of Horton Bay along the north shore is Oyster Bay. The bay is narrow and just under a mile long and a good area to fish for smallmouth bass, pike, or large catfish. The deeper water off Oyster Point is also known for trout throughout the year. At the turn of the century, Oyster Bay was used to store damaged ships underwater. Sunk into the muddy bottom, some of the wrecks can still be seen today, like the one shown here at the bottom. About one and a half miles west of Oyster Point is Charlevoix's Depot Beach Park. This restored train station is the backdrop to a nice sandy beach with a playground, picnic tables, grills, and a pavilion. It's a great place to take the kids on those warm summer days. About 300 yards south of Depot Beach is the United States Coast Guard Station and the entrance to Round Lake. Round Lake lies in the middle of the city of Charlevoix. From here you can take the channel out to Lake Michigan, but that's another story. So back to Lake Charlevoix. Heading south from the Coast Guard Station, you first pass by Northwest Marine Yacht Club. Next to the Yacht Club is Ferry Beach Park. This public park has a nice sandy beach, playground, volleyball nets, basketball courts, and horseshoe pits. There's also a concession stand, pavilion, and restrooms. Next to the park is the Charlevoix Municipal Boat Launch. Here there are four concrete ramps with loading docks. There's also parking for 100 rigs, restrooms, and a fish cleaning station. Continuing south, you enter Low Bay with Two Mile Point at the east end. The weedy flats in the bay hold plenty of perch right after ice out in the spring. Northern pike and some walleye are also caught here. 
The submerged point extending out from the mouth of Loeb Creek has also produced some trophy-sized smallmouth. Heading southeast along the shore, the next point you come to is Loeb Point. The bay between Two Mile Point and Loeb Point is the place for smallmouth bass, including some trophy-sized bronzeback. Weed patches in the shallows will also hold pike, while lakers, browns, and rainbows feed here in the spring. Heading further south from Loeb Point, you come into Sequinota Bay. The break here at 12 to 15 feet will hold bass all season, while pike also frequent the scattered weeds along the shoreline during the summer months. The south end of Sequinota Bay leads to the entrance of Lake Charlevoix's south arm, but that'll be a different video. Hemingway Point marks the east side of the entrance. The area around the point is covered with rock and gravel, which is excellent habitat for walleye and smallmouth bass. Lakers and browns also hang out in the deep water around the point during the summer months. Heading east along the shoreline about two and a half miles from Hemingway Point, you come to Stony Point. The two mile stretch from here to Hayden Point is one of the better areas to fish for smallmouth. This area has a lot of sand with scattered rock piles. Find the rocks, you'll find the fish. About a half mile south of Hayden Point is Charlevoix County's Whiting Park. This 240 acre park has 54 campsites, 13 of which have electricity. There's a modern shower facility, a pump out station, and the park also has two pavilions with picnic tables and electricity. Oh yeah, also there's a playground for the kids and a nice sandy beach. About a mile southeast of Whiting Park, Hayden Creek runs out next to a small point. Years back, there used to be a strong smelt run here every spring, but due to overfishing, they no longer do. The Somerset Point Yacht Club and Marina now occupies a point where a coal-fired power plant once stood. The Wolverine Power Company closed the plant in 1997 because they could now buy electricity cheaper than the plant could produce it. Heading further east along the south shore, our next stop is Boeing City's Tannery Beach. This is a small waterfront park with a couple of benches and a grill. The beach is a mix of sand and gravel, but nothing too rough on the feet. The best part for many, it's one of the few places your canine buddy is allowed to swim with you. There's also doggy bags and scoopers on site. Heading a little further northeast, just past the Harbor Ridge Marina, is Peninsula Beach. Here you have a nice sandy beach, restrooms, drinking fountain, picnic tables, and some playground equipment. Great spot to spend some time with the kids, or just relax in the sun. And now, we're back in Boeing City where we started. Lake Charlevoix is a beautiful body of water, with many access spots and a variety of game fish to chase. Our next video will be exploring the South Arm. Till then, have fun, be safe. I'll see you on the water.